This is one of those topics I wanted to bring up for a while. But because of the nature of the subject and with more than half of the population currently using or used to use these things, it's statistically impossible to avoid people getting mad. But I still think it's an important conversation to have or at least consider. I believe that psychotropic medication use is one of the causes for the increase in antisocial behaviors that we are observing. I'm not saying it's the only one, but I definitely believe it, they play a part. And it makes sense if you consider how they work. For example, SSRIs, the most commonly prescribed antidepressant, anti-anxiety medication, it works by it binding to the serotonin receptor, which allows the little serotonin you have to stay in the synapse for longer and get stretched out throughout the day which is a very unnatural state to be in because serotonin is naturally being secreted as a reward for doing something good and feeling grateful and feeling at peace. And I know that sounds all good, and it is most of the time, but humans have a range of emotions for a reason as it gives us feedback of our behaviors in order for us to potentially adjust them. But now when you have a constant state of I'm doing good, no matter what, people who engage into behaviors that are antisocial towards others would normally get the sense of anxiety or guilt that is no longer happening because the medication does not allow it to happen. So they believe that their behaviors are acceptable because they don't get a negative feedback. And then we have to consider that most of these medications were designed to be used temporarily for like three months until someone stabilizes and gets some momentum and only in a fraction of a percent to be used long term. But we all know that's not the reality. And now with an overprescription and overuse of these medications, we do see the negative side effects on population demographics and we can use at uh, the extreme examples of school shooters and very extreme antisocial behaviors that most of them are on this type of medication so it's important for us to at least consider this part of it before we advise everyone to get on it personally i think that treatment of mental health with pharmaceuticals should be the last resort not the first option as we need to look at the root cause and try to address it in a holistic way and by sedating those uncomfortable emotions we cannot explore those emotions in order for us to see what the root cause and deal with it and therefore trapping us in this endless cycle of numbness but hey what do you think?